No word exists in any language that might accurately describe the manner through which travel to alternate worlds is made possible. Distortion, portal, ingress, and many other terms were all used before the Templin Institute adopted the standardized designation of gate, though this term is as inaccurate as any other. The word gate, however, was chosen deliberately, for it implied above all a feeling of safety and a sense of control. Through the use of this word to describe the indescribable, and the countless other measures and directives both obvious and subtle, the Templin Institute has crafted a narrative that it can open and close the gates to other realities as it wishes, and the process is as easy and as simple as walking through any other kind of door. But this concept is entirely inaccurate, without basis in this reality or any other. Yet while the Templin Institute has struggled to authentically describe the methods by which it investigates alternate worlds, the focus of those investigations has never been in doubt. Though its mandate has expanded, and the Institute itself might be unrecognizable when compared to the organization first founded, but its core mission is the same. The Templin Institute investigates the nations, factions, and organizations of alternate worlds, and this is principally achieved through the mainline division. The oldest and largest of the 12 recognized divisions, Mainline is in most cases the template through which all others are organized. It is broadly split into two parts, the supporting establishment and field operatives. The supporting establishment is responsible for logistical and auxiliary duties, including internal division administration, training, research and development, maintenance, and any other duties as required. Its members will rarely, if ever, conduct field investigations through the gates, but are essential for the mainline division to perform its mission. Field operatives, by contrast, are those personnel whose principal duties include gate travel and the field investigations such travel entails. Generally, the supporting establishment prefers to employ a loose civilian structure without a strict hierarchy or formal positions. Several permanent subdivisions exist, but personnel are encouraged to pursue whatever projects they find intriguing, and to form and dissolve groups to manage these projects as they see fit. These ad hoc subdivisions are known officially as Mainline Project Groups, or MPGs, but are most often referred to as conclaves. Most conclaves are public knowledge within the Templin Institute, while some are known only to Mainline, while others are kept secret even from those within Mainline. The field operatives, as necessitated by the nature of their investigations, are organized under a much stricter paramilitary structure. Operatives are assigned to one of several operational groups, which are further divided into smaller companies, sections, and teams. Operational groups are much too large to ever be wholly deployed through a gate, but instead bring together sections and teams that have become proficient in certain kinds of investigation. The second operational group, for instance, is specialized towards the study of the supernatural, while the ninth is uniquely suited to those realities that possess superior technology and advanced societies. As the multiverse rarely conforms to the rigid attempts at classification employed by the Templin Institute, it is not uncommon for sections or teams from different operational groups to be deployed together. In most cases, however, a single section consisting of between six and 20 operatives is the standard unit composition to be deployed through the gates. In more dangerous realities, however, a single team of just two personnel might be sent. Only in exceptional circumstances will a single individual be deployed through a gate, and such assignments are always voluntary. The chief administrator within the mainline division is the office of the director, answerable only to the Templin Institute's higher executive director. This office is assisted by an internal advisory committee that includes members drawn from the supporting establishment and field operatives, as well as an external advisory committee consisting of personnel from the Templin Institute's other divisions. Like the other divisions within the Templin Institute, personnel within Mainline are drawn from various... An effort is made to keep this fact concealed through the... They only asked me if I was up for the job, if I could be that person. And I said yes, I could. While not necessarily the most dangerous division within the Templin Institute, based on available metrics, Mainline investigations are generally considered to bear the greatest danger of being detected. This is largely due to their extensive and lengthy nature. Over the course of the Templin Institute's operations, many of the subjects observed have utilized technology or supernatural abilities far in excess of anything possessed by the Institute itself, and there remains the possibility that Templin personnel might be observed by some unknown means. It is also possible that the existence of the Templin Institute might be compromised without its knowledge. Therefore, it is standard procedure that the gates are reset immediately upon the conclusion of an investigation. Resetting while personnel are still active in a gate is only considered as a last resort, 
but the only sure method of erasing any potential contaminants. The history of the mainline division begins with that of the Templin Institute itself. The director was happy to keep things quiet while we reorganized, but the investigation never ended. It just moved to the background. The earliest investigations, despite these precautions, dozens of personnel will be left. But no single event in the last decade has had a larger impact on the mainline division and the Templin Institute as a whole than the disappearance of Samantha Templin into Gate 4081. The fact that Samantha's presence seems to have affected Gate 4011, and these changes cannot be undone through a reset, seemingly contradicts one of the most fundamental principles upon which the Templin Institute operates. The Templin Institute. The Templin Institute. The Templin Institute. The Templin Institute.